So for better or for worse, Pinnacle Perks are making their way back into Destiny 2. This season, we've got to witness a high-impact pulse rifle with Desperado yet again. Messenger, which we just recently reviewed, is everything that Regix wished it could be. Now, today's video is not to justify sunsetting. I still stand by what I said from the very beginning. I don't like sunsetting. And I definitely didn't like sunsetting in its first form last season. When we first witnessed all of our weapons going to the graveyard and we had nothing to truly take its place you see that was the agreement with bungie right they were going to sunset certain items that were just outright too powerful in the game but simultaneously they were going to reintroduce more powerful loot in future releases but with a set time frame of which it could be powerful so let me just go through the list of perks that i feel like is completely okay to bring back into the game mega neuro from oxygen we kind of got a variation of that with redirection minus the explosions you can see there's some variations between these perks but when to go explosive light luna's how magnificent how loaded questions reservoir bursts which is essentially like chain reaction now right isn't that crazy 21 percent deliriums killing talent and even though a lot of people are going to say no to this one recluses master of arms and i was a personal fan of our favorite bacon wrapped auto rifle breakneck with its legendary trait onslaught these perks were really really good and i am completely okay with these pinnacle perks coming back the two perks that i'm not okay with two of them Two, two, two that cannot come back into the game whatsoever. And that is Revoker's Reversal of Fortune. Missing a shot returns a bullet to the magazine after a short duration. It cannot come back because it breaks ammo economy inside of Crucible. Not a really big deal inside of 6v6, but inside of Trials, that's a big deal. And by God, the last one, micro mother freaking missile. There's no reason your grenade launcher, which you know a lot of people jump up and go, oh, you're using a skillless weapon. Grenade launchers is a dad weapon, whatever, man. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Regardless, micro missile is grenade launchers on training wheels. It's just a mini rocket launcher. And I don't care if Mountaintop got nerfed. Let me be real. I still get killed from Mountaintop from time to time, and it's just as aggravating as it was even pre nerf. I'm completely okay, and I know I left probably some weapons off on the pinnacle list. They're just not jumping out to me right now. But I am completely okay with Bungie reintroducing perks that were previously on specific slotted pinnacle weapons but with more twists. You see, it does concern me that Messenger, being a high-impact pulse rifle, got Desperado. Meaning my concern is that the Pinnacle perks coming in the future won't be that much different than our previous Pinnacle weapons. Don't get me wrong, I like Desperado. Going from 340 rounds per minute to a whopping 500, 600 rounds per minute and maintaining same damage inside of PvP, disgusting. But at the same time, what about Desperado on a rapid fire frame? You go from 540 rounds per minute to 1200 rounds per minute. I know! Sounds nuts. Maybe, maybe. The point is, there was a lot of good pinnacle perks that were kind of punished based on the archetype that it was in. Mega Neuron Oxygen, which allows Dragonfine to deal more damage based on the number of precision hits dealt beforehand. On a 180, not bad on a 180, but wouldn't it be nice to try this out on maybe a 200 or maybe a 150. Break Nate with Onslaught. 450 round per minute auto rifles might be your favorite. They're not necessarily mine. I would actually enjoy this combination on a 720, something with a little more rapid fire to it to me that would be an amazing archetype for that combination and again if they go about doing it the way desperado is onslaught would essentially be rampage built into that trait just like desperado is not reliant on outlaw it's built in to that trait and i can foresee onslaught returning i just don't want it to return just on a 450 not that it was bad i would just like more variability in the archetypes but even beyond that why does it have to be just tied to just those specific type of weapons why does onslaught have to be on just an auto rifle and i know we're we're basing this purely on desperado coming back to messenger but why couldn't onslaught be on an smg or a hand cannon why couldn't pre-nerfed magnificent how not be present on a scout rifle would that make people angry would magnificent how on a 180 round per minute scout rifle enrage the entire crucible population it would work you know it would work and simultaneously that would make a 180 round per minute scout rifle for the first time in forever somewhat meta why couldn't i get killing tally 
on an auto rifle. Pair that with Axiom War Rig. You see where I'm going with this, guys? So, in the least, I think that Pinnacle perks should not be tied to essentially the same archetypes they were tied to in the past. But at the same time, I am so intrigued by the thought of placing some of these Pinnacle perks on entirely different weapons. The feelings that I get inside of me when I think of Master of Arms on a shotgun. Huh? Oh, it's nasty. You damn right it is. But that's what we want. We want nasty, but not like broken nasty. Revoker, it was broken, guys. It, it broke the ammo economy. Micro missile on mountaintop, it too was broken. It broke the entire fundamentals around grenade launchers. So even though I'm saying I want these pinnacle perks to come back, I want them on different weapons. That doesn't mean I want a grenade launcher back in the special slot with micro missile. Now, maybe a heavy grenade launcher. Sure. So guys, I just wanted to collect my thoughts in regards to pinnacles and their traits. We didn't get to witness it last season. The raid weapons were really good, and I really do like the deep stone crew raid weapons but as far as what we're starting to experience now especially with new perks like frenzy that's a new trait this season you've got other perks like lasting impression chain reaction is becoming a more common perk there's a lot of good perks just found on regular weapons you can acquire and then on the high end you've got weapons like messenger that can roll with desperado and i do foresee other pinnacle perks making their way in the game i just hope to see bungie be a little more bold with them and obviously they did it a little bit here with messenger by allowing us to have perks like rapid hit building in that desperado perk within itself but i would love to see these perks found on other weapons entirely different weapons not just different archetypes that's something that i would love to see so guys that is my thoughts on all this let me know in the comments below what you think also as far as accessibility goes and, and how to earn these weapons I think Bungie is on the right path, except for Trials. I think Trials still needs to have loot more accessible for casual players. And, and we've honestly said this so many times. The only part that, that should be difficult is the adept version of these weapons. The regular version of these weapons should still be able to be obtained by just a means of playtime inside of the playlist. I feel like Nightfall ordeals are getting it right. The fact that you can still grind out for a shadow price right now at the lower levels of these Nightfall ordeals. But of course, the higher the difficulty, the light clear it is you're going to get a shadow price to drop and then at the top end you can get the adept version of shadow price for those players that want to go the extra mile and lock down their super god roll or whatever having pinnacle perks on certain weapons shouldn't be a situation where only the best of the best can get these weapons especially considering sunsetting is a thing you have a year or a little more than a year duration to experience these weapons so some people might not even get them for a very long time i like the idea that messenger is available with Desperado on just its base form and not just the Adept form. And that's something that Bungie needs to keep doing. There doesn't need to be a separation of roles. Adept just gives you a slight leg up by allowing you to equip Adept mods and a slightly different masterwork. Outside of that though, these weapons do need to be more accessible and Trials loot in general needs to be more accessible. So whether these pinnacle perks make their way onto Trial weapons in the future or somewhere else, there's got to be a carrot for everyone to chase. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right